God's church of love. Psalms 118. I want to share with you that I know that God recognizes there are a lot of heavy hearts. A lot of heavy hearts. And he wants you to know that he knows what's going on and he knows why. And he's still in control, y'all. He will never lose control. So no matter what he allows to happen in this world, God is the one in charge. Not Satan, not people, not the governments, not sin, not treachery, not war, not the powers that be. God is the one in control. Starting at verse 1, Psalms 118. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, because his mercy endureth forever. Let Israel now say that his mercy endureth forever. Let the house of Aaron now say that his mercy endureth forever. Let them now that fear the Lord say that his mercy endureth forever. I called upon the Lord in distress. The Lord answered me and set me in a large place. The Lord is on my side. I will not fear. What can man do unto me? The Lord taketh my part with them that help me. Therefore shall I see my desire upon them that hate me. Hmm. It is better to trust in the Lord, y'all, than to put confidence in man. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in princes. All nations compass me about, but in the name of the Lord will I destroy them. They compass me about, yea, they compass me about, but in the name of the Lord, I will destroy them. They compass me about like bees. They are quenched as the fire of thorns. For in the name of the Lord, I will destroy them. Thou hast thrust sore at me that I might fall, but the Lord helped me. The Lord is my strength and song and has become my salvation the voice of rejoicing and salvation is in the tabernacles of the righteous the right hand of the lord doeth valiantly the right hand of the lord is exalted the right hand of the lord doeth valiantly i shall not die but live and declare the works of the lord the Lord has chasing me so right now I feel like the Lord is saying he wants you to say that out of your mouth. He wants you to declare and decree it. I shall not die, repeat it, but live and declare the works of the Lord. The Lord is chasing me so, but he has not given me over unto death. Open to me the gates of righteousness. I will go into them and I will praise the Lord. Amen. Listen, you guys, a lot of times what we don't realize, we think when we see everything falling apart around us, we start to get unnerved. We start to get uneasy, ill at ease. We, we start to worry. We start to ponder and dwell on all the negativity that's going on. We, we see the atrocities. We see the human trafficking. We see what the government are doing. We know that there are uh, best laid plans of mice and men, basically the schemes of the evildoers in high places. We know that there is wickedness in high places. We know that. We're not blind to it. We see it happening all around. Jeanette, Lynn, and I were just talking about it. But let me tell you this. God knows. He knows what has to unfold according to his word and according to his prophets. And no matter what happens, you guys, God is for you and me. If we are wrapped up, tied up, tangled up in Jesus. See, we have to abide under the shadow of his wings. Psalms 91 says, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. So we have to remember 
who God is. We have to remember no matter what bombs are flying, no matter what missiles are aimed at what, we are safe. We don't taste death. Remember that. Verse 2 says, I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God and him will I trust. See, that's why God says, don't trust in man, don't trust in princes, because they can not save you. In God is our safety. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler. Snare is a trap. And from the noise and pestilence, he shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. What do you do when you buckle up your seatbelt in your car, you guys? You buckle up for safety. So if the car flips around and tosses around in an accident, you're held stationary in that chair for minimal damage to be done to you. See, what God is saying, no matter how topsy-turvy the world is flipping and tripping, he's got you. He is your seatbelt. He is your buckler. He is your keeper. He is your protection. He is your safety. You're not in danger in God's hands. You have to remember that. You have to believe that. He will keep you in all your ways. Listen, thou shalt not be afraid. That's verse 5. For the terror by night, nor for the arrow. Let me add Pat's two cents throw in, nor for the missiles, nor for the nukes, nor for the bombs that flyeth by day. Verse 6, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, oh yeah, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Isn't that something? It's hard to believe, isn't it? Bombs can be falling all over the place. He already said right there, it shall not come nigh thee. See, that's why you have to have God as your protection. The building ain't going to protect you, baby. Only God can protect you. If you ever watch a movie, there's a movie about children who were held hostage at a school. I'm giving you a quick example of God's protection. This won't be a long message. This is to encourage you. No matter what wars, no matter what battles strike out, no matter what unsafety is in the streets, God can keep you in the middle of it. Listen, these kids were in a school and they were hijacked basically by this crazy coot. And his, he had his wife and some other guy helping him, I believe. I'm not sure about the third person. But the bottom line is, listen to this. The bomb that he had sitting in that classroom with the kids was sitting right in front of him, between him and his wife. That was the threat. If they didn't obey him and do what he said, he would ignite the bomb. Well... An angel whispered in the children's ears, move toward the window. And one of the guys who worked as a staff member of the school felt led to open the door to the hallway and open all the windows. So what happened as a result? One of the little boys, as the kids said, let's pray. They privately said, let's pray. And they asked God for divine protection. The bomb was right there. There was nothing to shield them from the bomb, from the blast. The bomb went off. But the boy and another girl saw angels surrounding the bomb with their hands together. And as the angels held their hands up, the blast and the, the, um, the, the power of the blast, instead of spreading out and killing all the kids, the, the blast aimed straight up through the ceiling. 
So yeah, kids got cuts and scrapes. Nobody died. Nobody lost their life. Not one life was lost. Nobody was severely injured. Think about that. Because of prayer. Because they put their trust in God, even though all they had between them and the bomb was a few chairs. There was no shield. There was no shelter. There was nothing to block them from being killed from that blast. Do you see what I'm saying? When you're in the, in the secret place of the Most High, you're protected even in the middle of the tragedy, even in the middle of disaster. You are protected. Every one of those kids are alive to tell the story. Different ones saw the angels. Different ones heard the angels because the boy was told by the angel to go to the window and tell his sister to meet him at the window, that protected them from dying because they were in direct line of the blast. And if they had stayed there, they would have been hurt more severely. But they had an ear to hear and an eye to see. When you are connected to God and you hear and you see, you understand, and you obey, that's where your protection lies. So know that you are not to trust in princes. You are not to trust in man. You are not to trust in the Democrats. You're not to trust in the Republicans. You're not to trust in Biden. You're not to trust in Trump. You're not to trust in anybody but God. God is your refuge. Going to verse 7. A thousand shall fall at thy side. I know I already read it and 10,000 at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. You know who the only person was that died in that blast? The criminal's wife. She died in the blast. But none of the victims were killed. None of them. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high, thy habitation, there shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against the stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder. That's authority, y'all. That's authority over all the forces of darkness. That's authority over Satan himself. Satan and his demons. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder. The young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample under feet. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high because he has known my name. He gets it. He knows who I am. He knows what my name stands for. He knows the power that I have. And he trusts me because he has, because he known my name. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. You're never alone no matter what's going on. I will deliver him and honor him with long life. Will I satisfy him? Satisfaction guaranteed and show him my salvation. Showing somebody God's salvation is not just showing him a picture of the word. See, salvation. No, showing us his salvation is pure demonstration on every hand. No matter what life throws at you, there's his salvation. No matter what dangers lurk around the corner, God is our safety. He is our salvation. No matter what comes against us, God is our shield. He protects us. Therein is our safety and salvation. Trust me, God is demonstrating to us 24-7, seven days a week, all of our lives as long as we walk with him. He's showing us, demonstrating to us his salvation. We observe, we witness, we watch, we get that we are under his protection. We abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Amen. God bless you. Be encouraged. And remember that God is a very present help in trouble. Therefore, you will not fear. Amen.